I'd like to call to order the July 14th, 2015 meeting of the Mill Creek Township Supervisors. We'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is there any public comment on agenda items other than development or rezoning applications? Hearing none, we'll move on to approval of minutes. We have before us the June 30th, 2015 meeting minutes. If there's no additions or corrections, I'll entertain a motion. Yes, I'll move to approve the minutes. I'll second it. Mr. Groh? Yes. Mr. McGrath? Yes. And I vote yes. We have the approval of bills. We have before us the uh, township bills from 77 and 714. And also we have uh, the uh, sewer revenue bills of uh, July 7th, 2015. If there's no additions or corrections, I'll entertain a motion. I'll move we pay the bills. And I will second. Mr. McGrath? Yes. Mr. Groh? Yes. And I vote yes. Next, we have the administration of the oath of office for two new police officers for the Mill Creek Township Police Department. Uh, today, we're going to swear in uh, two individuals, uh, Mr. Luke Passerati and Jacob Washick. Uh, Luke is age 25. He's from uh, Northeast PA. He obtained a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from California University of Pennsylvania and graduated from the Municipal Police Academy at Mercyhurst Northeast in 2013. Luke has prior police experience with Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine in Erie, PA. Jacob is age 25. He's from Mill Creek Township where he currently resides. He attended McDowell High School. He later obtained a bachelor's degree in, in criminal justice from Mercyhurst Univ University and graduated from the Municipal Police Academy at Mercyhurst in 2013. Jacob has prior police experience with the City of Warren Police Department in Warren, PA. If I could have uh, Jacob and Luke, please come up here. We'll give you the oath of office. Mm -hmm. Let's start first with Luke. Luke, if you could raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Luke R. Passerati, I, Luke R. Passerati do, solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I will support Obey and, defend uh, support, obey and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and that I will discharge the duties of police officer in Mill Creek Township, in Mill Creek Township Erie, County, Erie County with fidelity. With fidelity. Luke, congratulations. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. Jacob, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Jacob J. Washick, I, Jacob J. Washick do, solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and that I will discharge the duties of police officer in Mill Creek Township, Erie County, with fidelity. With fidelity. Jacob, congratulations. Welcome to <laughs> this brings our complement in the Mill Creek Township Police Department up to 62. Right. Uh, we're always happy we can have additions. Uh, we're always happy to see such uh, experienced individuals applying. Uh, we wish them all the best in their careers, and I'm sure they're going to make us all proud. Now, for you folks that are here uh, with the two officers, we have a little uh, buffet outside for you, uh, so you don't have to sit through the rest of this meeting. We'll take a short break, and you go out there and just uh, entertain yourselves for a while, and afterwards we'll join you. Thank you. Congratulations, folks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Be safe. Congratulations. Be safe out there. I would think that you'd make them more of a sip. 
Yeah. Yeah. You learn what they don't want to do. Yeah. <laughs> good point, Evan. Yeah, he got a good point there, Evan. <laughs> Wait a second, where is that? Alrighty then. What the heck? Okay, moving on with the meeting. Uh, we have uh, item number seven, Mill Creek Township School District, a land development plan. This is a land development plan to show a proposed 250 space parking lot addition with associated walkways and stormwater management facilities located along the west line of Cahey Road, north of West 38th Street in Tract 84. Mr. Morris. At their July 8th meeting, the Planning Commission recommended approval and they noted one condition and two recommendations. The condition was to close the existing Cahey Road entrance and move it north. Uh, that has been done on a revised drawing that we received and the recommendations and there were two one provide an exclusive left turn lane into the new driveway for northbound traffic that too has been shown on the revised drawing and widen the landscape end caps within the parking lot and that also has been shown on the revised drawing thank you uh, is there anyone here to speak in favor of the uh, land development plan. I see someone up here. If you could give us your name and address, sir, for the record. Thomas Delfrat, Director of Operations from Mill Creek Township School District, 3740 West 26th Street. Uh, you heard Mr. Morris tell about the uh, requirement and the recommendation. I understand both of those now appear on the plan. Yes, uh, this is actually phase one of the proposed two-phase project. Um, we are currently the movement of the parking lot that is on the east side of Rocky to the west side is our belief that number one will provide better safety and security for our students and number two with the redesign of the entrance specifically and then also with some reallocation redesigning of where people will park on in the new lot and on the west side we hope to help alleviate further alleviate traffic on Kaki at those busy hours in the morning and the afternoon yeah, there's a good question. Tom, did you agree to the recommendations and the... Uh... Yes, we are good. Uh, we actually came into the meeting uh, knowing full well afterwards that we were going to close that current entrance right by the light and move the existing one. Um, my superintendent is fully in agreement with widening the end caps. He's all for landscaping and beautification of the campus. And then uh, at the recommendation of Mr. Morris with that uh, dedicated turning lane, uh, we are all in agreement with yeah. all three of those proposals. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does the board have any questions? Just one quick one, Tom. I see that there's two crosswalks. Is the furthest south one <clears throat> going to remain? The only time that that for the south one really will be in effect or utilized is probably once every two years when we have the prep oh, game. Okay. Uh, it is our proposal and our uh, uh, consideration that that east side complex, which will be an athletic facility, community complex, will be an entity within itself. So any participation up there with baseball games, softball games, the <coughs> utilization of the, of the proposed practice field, there's parking up there. Uh, as far as daily traffic back and forth, there will be nobody permitted to park on that side of the street attending our school. There will be no students. So that crosswalk will be used only for special events that may draw a large crowd yeah. that puts cars on the east side for that event only. So if the yeah. students are going over there to whatever, use the tennis courts or the ball fields Correct. or whatever? They would use that. They would, okay. Right. okay. Yes. So I'm wondering a question. The uh, blocking off of... Uh, I think there was an entrance on 38th Street, wasn't there? There's two. Well, no, there's, there's two, two entrances on 38th Street that will remain. <coughs> They'll remain? Are yes. they going to be gated so they can be open for certain events? Or? The, the entrances? Oh, wait. You, I think you're referring to the one on the, on the east side. Right, right. Uh, okay. The one on the east side. Actually, in the proposal that we'll be coming to you, hopefully, Mr. Walker, if he can get us going here, uh, which has done a good job in August, 
that that will be a main entrance. There will be two entrances to that complex, one on 38th Street that will be pretty much dedicated as the Hanlon Athletic Complex, and then there's one that is further south on Cahi that will also remain open. As far as it's used during the day, we are not going to prevent the public or the community from using it during the day. However, we will put in strict policies and enforce those policies with students not being able to park over there and then crossing the street to go to school. We would not block it off because we still want the community to be able to have access to it. Yeah, yeah. I just have a, a quick question. Uh, Tom, the, this is working in conjunction with the uh, modifications made to the intermediate school uh, entrance there. That's. Uh, used uh, at certain times of the day, so that right. has worked out quite well. Uh, uh, I think we we've have noticed had to make some tweaks. Yes. Right, but it, we've reduced the congestion on Cahi Road, uh, you know, for those periods of time, and this will do the same thing. Work in conjunction with that there. Yes, and, hopefully. Uh, yes. I know that uh, uh, people may be aware, maybe not, uh, that Cahi Road is a is a major thoroughfare for township. Uh, especially for our township services, for the streets department, for the police department, uh, and that's the way we get east and west, or actually east uh, is through 38th Street. So we get up Cahie Road, we're pretty smooth, smooth sailing after that. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea what you're doing there. So, yeah. Okay, anything else? Nope. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of or opposition to the plan? Hearing none, is there a motion from the board? Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve that uh, land development plan with the, the conditions that were placed on it that have been complied with. I'll second that. Mr. Girl? Yes. Mr. McGrath? Yes. And I vote yes. Next is announcement of bids and quotations received. Uh, the first is from the recycling department for the purchase of a tablet, computer, a keyboard, and a stylus. Uh, the recycling department has gotten three quotes on these items um, from Staples. The tablet was $599, the keyboard was $129, and the stylus was $49. Uh, from Amazon.com, they only uh, had the tablet available. Uh, it was $599. And from CDW.com, uh, they only uh, quoted the uh, tablet for $658. And it's the recommendation of the uh, IT department uh, that uh, we purchase from Staples for uh, the 599 for the tablet, the 129 for the keyboard, and the $49 for the stylus. Is there a motion? I'll move approval. I'll second. Mr. McGrath? Yes. Mr. Grill? Yes. And I vote yes. Next is Old Zook Road Bridge Rehabilitation Project. Mr. Morris? Township received a priority letter from a PennDOT consultant regarding repairs that are necessary for the twin cell box culvert, and that carries Old Zook Road traffic over Walnut Creek. In response, the engineering department contacted Mark Corey, he's our designated bridge engineering consultant, to prepare a, proposed, or a proposal to perform the engineering work so we could secure the necessary permits and prepare a contract with specifications and bid it. Uh, the bids were open at 3 o'clock on July 9th, and we had three bidders. They were Shingle Deckers Welding Incorporated at $80,060, Consul Construction at $113,000, and Shivers Construction Company at uh, the engineering department and Mark Corey recommend awarding the bid to Shingle Decker's Welding for $80,060. Thank you. Is there any questions from the board? There were no exceptions taken in that uh, no. bid? Okay. No. Hmm. Okay. Is there a motion from the board? I'll move that the contract be awarded to Shingle Decker. I'll second that. Mr. McGrath? Yes. Mr. Grill? Yes. And I vote yes. <coughs> Next is tree removal. Brian? This is from the Streets Department. Request for uh, removal of a tree on Evanston Avenue. Uh, quotes were obtained from J. Thomas Tree Service, $225. Dibble Tree Service, $275. Uh, they attempted to secure a quote from Asplund and Hazlitt, but none were available. So it's my 
a uh, motion that the contract be awarded to Jay Thomas for $225. I'll second that. Mr. McGrath? Yes. Mr. Grove? Yes. And I vote yes. Next is proposed ordinance 2015-11, an ordinance to amend the Mill Creek Township Zoning Ordinance number 2011-8 as amended by changing the classification of a certain parcel of land situate in the township of Mill Creek, Erie County, Pennsylvania, described as follows, to wit, the northern portion of property at 3746 West 12th Street, now zoned R1, single family residential district, to be rezoned to C2, general commercial district. Is there anyone here today to speak uh, on behalf of the rezoning? They want to speak in opposition. Okay, is uh, there a motion from the board? Yes, I'll make a motion to uh, approve ordinance 2015-11. I'll second that. Mr. Grill? Yes. Mr. McGrath? Yes. And I vote yes. Communications, Jerry? I don't have anything. Brian? I just have uh, one thing, requesting permission from the board to attend the quarterly meetings for PSATs. Uh, this would be July 22nd through the 24th. Okay. I'll move to approve that. I'll second. Mr. Grow? Yes. Mr. McGrath? Public comment. Oh, public comment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Grow? Yes. Mr. McGrath? Yes. And I vote yes. That's all I have. Okay, I've got a few things from the police department. Uh, first is the relocation of a Mill Creek Police Department radio antenna from Grandview Elementary School on Lancaster Road to the Water Tower on Lancaster Road and moving the radio base station from the same school to the Mill Creek substation building next to the water tower. Uh, three quotes were received uh, on this. The first was from Eagle Radio, $6,313. Uh, Freedom Telecommunications and Mobilecom were also contact, contacted and uh, both forego, decided to uh, forego bidding. It's the recommendation of the uh, Police Department that the contract for the movement of the tower be awarded to Eagle Radio at $6,313.99. And that's in the form of a motion. Okay, I'll second that. Public comment? Mr. Grill? Yes. Mr. McGrath? Yes. And I vote yes. Next, in addition to the services provided by Eagle Radio Technologies, the relocation of a natural gas pipeline will be necessary in order to fuel the previously approved backup generator system at the same Lancaster Road location. The cost quoted by National Fuel is $2,484.70. Uh, both uh, facets of this project are necessary for the enhancement and reliability of the MPD radio communications and is part of the separately approved 2015 Mill Creek Police budget. Uh, is, I'll make a motion that uh, we have that uh, line moved by National Fuel Gas at a cost of $2,484.70. I'll second. Public comment? Mr. McGrath? Yes. Mr. Grow? Yes. And I vote yes. <coughs> Next is for the purchase of 10 12 volt, volt backup power replacement batteries for the MPD Communications Center. The current batteries have expired and uh, are needed for ongoing radio power in the event of electrical out outage. Cost, which includes labor, is $3,639.50 from Eagle Radio Technologies. Uh, this uh, is also in uh, conjunction with uh, moving the tower and so forth, and it was thought by the uh, police department that uh, Eagle Radio doing this would be uh, the best thing to have them do also the batteries and put those in. So it would be my motion that uh, the uh, 10 12 volt backup power replacement batteries uh, be awarded to uh, Eagle Radio Technologies for $3,639.50. I'll second it. Public comment? Mr. McGrath? Yes. Mr. Grove? Yes. And I vote yes. Next is permission for Terry Anthony of AAA to perform a one-hour training for the 12 Mill Creek Township Crossing Guards on the afternoon of August 26, 2015. Cost based on their daily wage of $50 for each one hour of work would total $600. And it would be my recommendation that uh, 
Mr. Anthony of AAA performed the training at a cost of $600. I'll second it. Public comment? Mr. McGrath? Yes. Mr. Groh? Yes. And I vote yes. And I think that's all I I have. did have one other thing. That I'm, I'm glad that the, the newspaper's back. I wanted to see if we could get this in. A memo from um, Jessica James in our recycling office that uh, due to the roar on the shore and uh, all the festivities going on at uh, the Harley Davidson on 12th Street, uh, waste management is asking for permission to do their pickup on Thursday and Friday, the 16th and 17th, one hour earlier than normal. And uh, we want to make sure that the folks who normally have their garbage picked up on Thursday and Friday morning are aware of that, that it's going to be uh, taking place one hour earlier than, than uh, what is typical. Um, so just an announcement to let the folks out there know, get their garbage out nice and early on um, Wednesday night and Thursday night. That's it. Oh, yeah, I got to. I have two more. Okay. Uh, also from the police department is for permission for Westlake Fire Department Fire Police to conduct traffic control for the Roar on the Shore motorcycle ride on July 17th, 2015 from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Fire Police will conduct this detail on Peninsula Drive at the Waldemere Park entrance. Uh, written request is uh, attached to this for approval by the board and I would recommend approval for the fire police to conduct that traffic control. Okay, I'll second that. Public comment? Mr. Grove? Yes. Mr. McGrath? Yes. And I vote yes. And lastly, permission for the Westlake Fire Department Fire Police to conduct traffic control for the Pittsburgh Inn Poker Run on August 2nd, 2015 from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and again, on, and again from 2.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. Fire police will conduct this detail on Westlake Road at Pittsburgh Inn entrance and exit. And again, a written request and uh, authorization uh, to be signed by the board for the fire police is attached, and I would recommend approval. I'll second it. Public comment? Mr. McGrath? Yes. Mr. Grove? Yes. And I vote yes. That's all I have. Okay, I got a couple things here. Uh, first of all, uh, in case people have not seen this, I'll just give some information about it. Uh, Mill Creek Township right now is involved in a sidewalk survey. It's being done by Cole and Associates, uh, uh, an ADA advocacy uh, firm that uh, will be doing a study of our sidewalks. Uh, they will be going throughout the township on segways. And if you're not familiar with what a segway is, it's a two-wheeled motorized uh, vehicle or device, whatever you want to call it. Um, these people will be identified wearing uh, of course, yellow vests and probably a hard hat or a helmet or something like that. And they do have ID issued by the township. Uh, if you see them out there, they're not trying to spy on your house or anything like that. They're doing a study of the sidewalk itself. I do have a, a fact sheet that I'll give to John Guerrero from the newspaper. That way, if you want to print that out or give that information, uh, just people don't be alarmed when you see that there. It's, uh, we're not being invaded by space people or anything like that. So. Uh, the other thing is, uh, as myself, as capacity of administrator of administer administrative services, and due to my experience with building and zoning codes, I've been asked to testify before the Pennsylvania House of Present Representatives Local Government Committee regarding amendments to Title 53 of the Consolidated Statutes. Uh, the amendment in particular deals with the inclusion of matriculated persons as a protected class in regards to the rental of dwelling units. Uh, the hearing is set for Monday, July 20th in Westchester, Pennsylvania, all travel costs and lodging are covered. Uh, in case you didn't know, matriculated, uh, actually what that means are students, university students. Uh, there are proposed amendments, so I'm asking for permission to, uh, to attend that uh, hearing and offer testimony. I'll, uh, was that a motion or a request? That's a request. Okay, yeah. I'll move approval. I'll second. Public okay. comment? Mr. McGrath? Yes. Mr. Grove? Yes. And I vote yes. Okay. And then one final thing, and this is regarding the uh, proposed study commission question. Of course, there are candidates that are needed to uh, serve on that. Um, this is an elected position. It's not appointed. Uh, anybody interested in serving on this commission should uh, uh, understand that they have to file a petition uh, to get 200 plus signatures on that of registered voters in Mill Creek Township. Uh, the period of time for that is between August 4th and August 25th. 
the petition forms are available at the Erie County Courthouse uh, Elections Office. I have a few of them here in my office, so if you are interested in serving on this vital commission, um, please uh, contact either myself or uh, somebody down at the election office. Uh, that is all I have. John, that petition requires 200 signatures? Yeah, 200, or 200 is what it's going to require because of the amount of um, people that voted in the last gubernatorial election. Uh, it's 2% of those or 200. And to be two, on the ballot. To be on the ballot, you know, okay. whichever is less, 200 okay. or, or it would have been. Supervisors only take 10. That's right. Yes, it does. Uh, I know. It's, uh, yeah, that's a Go that, that could be the problem there. But anyway, if you are seriously uh, interested in it, I would suggest that you uh, uh, seek this office for this very vital commission. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Evan. Gail. Rick. Citizens to be heard. If you could please give us your name and address and please sign it at the podium. Yes, uh, Laura Eaton, and I'm representing Mecca at 2709 Legion Road, here, right here in Mill Creek. And um, what I'm asking here today is uh, we have not heard a response back. Mecca did put a proposal in to uh, rent space at the 2709 Legion Road, and we have not received anything in writing back from the supervisors or your council or anyone. And that is uh, up in August 27th, I believe, mm -hmm. is our end date. And we, Mr. Groh, you had said that there was a letter that you were going to send to us, and we did not receive that yet. Um, and so we were just wondering, you know, what we should be doing here. Okay. We're going to have to check into that, Laura, because um, there was something that was written up to be sent out. Yes. Oh. I don't know why you haven't received it. We will check in and find out what's going on. Yeah, we yeah. can pick it up if you... You know, That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll make sure you get uh, it one way or another there. So thank you for bringing it to our attention. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else? Hearing none, is there a motion for adjournment? So move. I'll second. Uh, we're adjourned at uh, 9.59. Watching the Mill Creek Government Channel, powered by WQLN Public Media.